Greetings, M squared here, and we're going to work with some complex number equations. Sometimes they'll just have you, they'll give you two complex numbers that are equal to each other that contain variables, and they'll want you to figure out what the variables equal. Well, remember, if two things are equal and they're complex numbers, then we know their real parts, this is the real part, it always comes first and it doesn't have an I with it, has to be equal to the real part. So if we want to know what a is, we say, well, if 5a equals 15, a must be 3, because that's the only way. 5 times 3 is 15. And you can set up an equation if you'd like. You can set up the real part on the left side equal to the real part on the right side. And you do the same thing here. If 4bi is equal to negative 6i, then 4b, sorry, 4b must be equal to negative 6. Well, then what's b? Well, to get b alone, we simply divide by 4. And b, if we reduce that fraction, is equal to 3 halves, or you could say negative 1.5. Either one works. So now we know what a and b are to make that equation true. So now we'll go over here, and we'll do this again with our, uh, but this time we have x and y. Well, you see a lot of things over here, but this has to be the real part because the i is on these uh, on this binomial. So we know that this is equal to the real part. So we look and see what our real part is over here, and it's 7. So we know that 3 plus y must equal 7. If we minus 3 from both sides, we get that y equals 4. And over here, this is the imaginary part, and so is this. So we say 2x minus 5 equals negative 3. And we add 5 to both sides. We get 2x equals 2, so x must equal 1. So at first, when you look at these, they look really scary because they have i's and a's and b's and, you know, different variables. But if you just remember, the real part has to equal the real part, and the imaginary part has to equal the imaginary part. It's just really simple linear equations that you can do. So good luck. M squared, signing out.